first, I want to thank you for allowing us to sit with you and talk to you today. Oh, thank you for being here. I'm excited about this, this event. So thank you for being interested. Thank you. So talk to me about the event. Talk to me uh, about what it is and what's it going to entail. Well, we uh, had our first Elegant Southern Style last September. And it went over so well that um, by popular demand, really, they loved it so much that they wanted, wanted me to, to do another one. And this is really, it all began when people had asked me um, why Elvis always came back to Memphis after every movie, uh, after every tour that he did, after every studio recording, he would always come back to Memphis. He never stayed around L.A. So elegant Southern style really goes to show you his roots and what he loved about, um, about the, the South, you know, this, um, Southern hospitality, genuine, uh, loyalty, cooking, uh, entertaining, gardening. That's what we, that's what we actually uh, do in the event. And we have, um, we'll have our guest, um, uh, superstars really, that in fact, I'm going to name some of them because I'm, I'm all excited. I'm going, I brought a little list here to, for everyone to get excited about. We have actually, and we've had him before. This is Jim Norton. He's a um, Southern entertaining and a lifestyle expert. And it's mm -hmm. unbelievable. I had dinner at his home the other night. And boy, what a table spread he put on. And he did all the cooking. And when he goes all out, so I'm going to be sitting there <laughs> taking pictures of everything all the way down to... The, um, to the napkins and how he did it and how the presentation was. So he's so great at that. And then we have the wonderful celebrity event planner, Troy Williams, who he, he does all the big celebrities uh, all over um, California and other places too. And he throws a wild party, but his tables are unreal. And he always gives you tips and ideas on what to do when you're stuck and not really know. And sometimes look around at things that you have even in your own household mm -hmm. that you can use when you run into a rut or whatever. So you will learn a lot of tips from our guests, which I love and people went crazy over. Um, we have Kevin uh, Coble, who is actually the floral designer and owner of La Fleur, which is, of course, obviously an extraordinary floral market and um, they'll teach us how to arrange and have different arrangements how to do it and it's so simple you know how we have a tendency to make everything hard or we can't do that when, I, when the way that you know he points out and what you can do just the littlest things even from a drinking glass you know we don't think about things like that but I mean he goes more into detail and of course we'll show the example and then we also have we'll get to that in a minute um, <laughs> And we have also candy maker Rebecca Denstel, whose company was named the best uh, candy company, ca actually candy store in the South. And it makes the number one uh, fudge in America. And she's local as well. So she is so interesting. And she'll come in here. She'll bring some chocolates and show how to make them and what you can do and this, to simplify it. So I really, you know, I'm not going to go into every everyone, but you kind of get the idea that we have the opportunity to be with these people to learn all how to do these things that we have created and to make it difficult. But here in the South, and, 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 and I guess in many ways, um, having all these different types of people give you know, the, the, the guests the idea of really what the South is about. And um, not just Southern hospitality, which, which everyone still loves, and I do too. Um, and the other says we know all said, always said yes ma'am, yes sir, and all. And that's from his roots. So it's really giving the, the, our guests the opportunity to see what he experienced and feel what he experienced. How is that for you and what does that mean to you to make sure that uh, other people get to experience what he experienced and, and the lifestyle that he loved and having that Southern hospitality? Well, the whole purpose is just that, having other people experience it, having other people taste the foods. Um, we have... Uh, a lot of different, we have a thing that we call um, see, learn, and do. So we have uh, a wonderful uh, assortment of um, seminars so that they also can make what you see and what we're experiencing or what we're showing as far as florals or, or even the chocolates. And, and Elvis, you know, this is, what, this is what he came here for back in the South. He loved Memphis. His roots were here. His friends were the same. And he never found that anywhere else. He never found that Southern hospitality. And 
a true friendships that last forever. I mean, he had friends back in the day of school that are, were in our entourage that um, maintained a friendship for years and years and years. So that's what I want to do, is give our guests the experience that he had, the food that he had, what he loved about, even not gardening as much, but he loved having flowers around. I was the one who always put the candles on the table, and I always put the flowers on the table, because I like romance, but I also like things to look really pretty. And I think, I think people appreciate that. I think men appreciate that. I know Elvis did. I even started to cook a little bit, but I, I was a bit of a failure, so now I'm really excited to learn from all these people. I've actually tried a few of the uh, recipes, and, and it was wonderful, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. And I think it's so good, too, um, that this is a hands-on event where the guests can come and they can get involved. And not only that, you even have um, local local businesses that are getting involved and being able to show what they can offer and what they can do. Yes, we do. We have a lot of local, like I said, the florist that's here, like, you know, uh, um, um, uh, Rebecca, who's here, of course, shows how the candy is made. In fact, uh, last September we had La uh, Hal Lansky, who uh, was, uh, his, further, his first uh, shop that he went to to buy Lansky Brothers clothes, and he was here and gave a seminar on what it was or gave a talk on what it was that Elvis loved and the style that he loved and Hal was great. His father was Bernard Lansky and of course uh, Hal took over the shop. And that's right here on Beale Street and now we have one at, um, uh, at the, actually still at the um, Peabody Hotel. And they're well known now. So we have a lot of local people here. Last year we had a, a guy who wasn't from here, from uh, Virginia, that came to teach us how to keep orchids. And what was so interesting is that he brought an orchid that was over 80 years old. The wow. same orchid, which I always thought when it dropped on the flowers, that that was it, you throw it away. Right. No, they go into dormant. And I always thought that you water, that you could put ice in to, to water the, the orchids. And absolutely not, because they're a desert plant. Mm -hmm. So we get all kind of tips. And, and people were raising their hand, participating. We had our wine taster, which I think we have one out. We have... Um, um, where is it? Where was it? Um, I can't find it here right now. But um, a some yes, a, a master sommelier and chef Ivy Odom, local, um, host of the Southern Living Show. So to give us tips and and to show uh, what he also can do as a sommelier and all about wine and people were I mean people loved it because there's so much misinformation out there and so here we're actually you know, teaching people and uh, hands-on, and they, they really enjoyed it, and I've had a lot of compliments on how great it went, and yeah, and for, and for people to understand Elvis and, and his home. That's so great. So you had one in September, you'll have another in March. Any plans for continuing this? Well, yes, I hope to, for sure, and, and, I, and if we do, of course, um, it'll be uh, in September. This one is March 13, 14, and 15, the weekend of so yes, um, we do have plans, uh, and people are, like I said, and we're also going on a cruise, a river cruise, which we're going to be having so much fun, and that's what I love about it too. I get to really know the people. I, I know I'll learn about them and what they would like to have um, as guests. Let's say if we do another one, which, which will be in September, um, it's really serving, serving the people who really, really want to come back learn more, do more, have fun. The cruise, the cruise uh, will be wonderful in the Mississippi. I'm really excited about that. And uh, that'll be my first time too. I've always wanted to do it, so this will be fun. That yeah. will be fun, that'll be great. So I wanna ask you, um, uh, we're here we're this weekend, we're, we're all through the week really, yeah. and we're celebrating Elvis' birthday. Uh, what does it mean for you to be back here and to be a part of the celebration and see so many people come from all over? All over. It's emotional. It really is, and especially, you know, 85 years old. It's just uh, mind-boggling for me that people still love him. And the loyalty is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we're getting newer people coming in with their children. Um, and their children are now all excited about learning more about Elvis. And we love that. And, you know, it's um, he really affected a lot of people. In a, in a big way, and, and he was a great man, great entertainer, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, you know, so many, what, 43, 40 some odd years later, um, after his passing, that someone is still as popular that he is. I, 
I do shows over in Europe, uh, tours with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. And I just came back from there in the UK, from uh, London. And uh, we went to the O2, performed there. Um, I present the show. But, um, and when I, at the end of the show, they turned on the lights, it was our last show. And they turned on the lights, the house lights, and I, it took my breath away, literally. And, and it was emotional to see the standing ovation in the entire arena entire arena, even the balconies, all the balconies. It's just the, I posted the, uh, I posted the photo on my social media and people couldn't believe it. And that's the effect that he created, not just here in, in the United States, all over the world. So people are interested, people are interested in what he ate, you know, what we cooked and prepared, what it was that, you know, that he was attracted to as far as, you know, around the house. Like, you know, I loved candles and he liked candles too. So. Be believe it or not, he loved having candles on the table. And I think a lot of men do. It does take effort, but I think it, it's worth all the effort to make something beautiful around you. Have a beautiful table and put time in. And, and especially this day and age, we're all in a big rush. We all have lots of things to do. We're so preoccupied that the time we have family together or couples together or parents together, you know, having it look beautiful. I mean, the touch of florals, mm -hmm. unbelievable. It just... It shows you care. It shows that you know you care about your guests. You care about the beauty of a, a table and the taste of a good food and great conversation. I don't think we should lose that. And, and it looks and appears that because of you know how much people are doing and and you know the time and the effort that has to be put into it, it really isn't any. You could take the plants as we had before and our guests, one of our guests, and saying here, actually from here, saying that you could take things from your from your garden. You know, and, and when you see what they do and what we're going to be doing to, to accomplish certain looks, it's just so easy. There's no excuse not to. So when you have these events and um, you have people that are coming here, too, for the different events, um, it's not only a bit of Elvis life that they're getting, but some of your life as well. Yes, yes I guess you could say that. If I'm not doing anything different that I didn't do when I was married to him. I, I was the one who took care of everything and was in charge basically of having things look good for him. I wanted him, he loved beauty, he loved things that look good, you know, everything, Grayson was immaculate. Um, and he loved it that way. So, um, you know, I, I, and I enjoyed keeping it like that, I, I, because I liked it too. But I think it just shows care, and some effort goes into care. So yes, it's a part of me as well. Do you think um, he would have ever imagined this big of an impact? No, ever. No, at 40 years old, Elvis was was uh, didn't want to be on stage uh, as a 40 year old because you have to remember 40 years old at that time. <coughs> so it was old, so you know he didn't he didn't want to be an old man on stage, and never did he think ever did he think that after all these years, uh, people are still coming and. Um, wanting to see his life and wanting to go to Graceland and wanting to get more of him. When they people go to, our guests come to Graceland, um, they want more. There's something very, very spiritual about Graceland. And he left that, you know, he, he left that feeling because of the love of Graceland that he had and people knew about. But yes, he, he would be absolutely blown away that uh, he's still, his, his legacy lives on and that people still appreciate and the younger people are coming more and more and more.